me. Yes, I won. But how, how did he get? I jumped on you. Oh, I can't believe you beat me. <laughs> Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Today I want to talk about Codename Steam. Now, I don't know if you've seen this, this is a tactical strategy turn-based game but with a twist for the 3DS. It's just out in the UK, it's been out in the States a little while longer. But in my family there's one particular element of this that's really caught on and that's the local multiplayer. Now if you've not played the game, it's a sort of a mix of action where you're sort of running around from a third person perspective in different worlds, it's like a cartoon aesthetic and that combines with a sort of a strategy turn-based mechanic to give you a, a nice combination of sort of stop and start action. Now my boys have been getting into chess as well and there's a real sort of synergy between Codename Steam and their, their chess play and as you can see they really enjoy that sort of considered slightly quieter I guess turn-based chess game where they're learning the moves, they're learning strategies and they're thinking ahead of the implications of what they're doing. In Codename Steam, it seemed to sort of scratch that same itch. So you can't just charge in um, and sort of go all guns blazing. You need to decide how to use your characters and how to use your resources and guns. And most importantly, Steam in the game. Now Steam equates to how much you can do in each move. So if you've got a lot of Steam, you can move a long way and also you can shoot. Now, there's been games like this in the past. The, the developers responsible for Advance Wars. Now that's a game that I absolutely loved. Um, played a lot of it back in the day, both on the GBA and then um, on the DS as well. But there's a new feature in Codename Steam that I think works really well, and that's the Overwatch mode. So what you can do here is to leave some steam, some action points in your steam tank, point your character in the right direction, hide behind some barrels or a crate, then when the other player has their go, you can pop out and shoot them automatically. So you're shooting them even though it's their go. Now you can also use amiibos to bring in additional characters in Codename Steam and those are the Fire Emblem characters and that adds another little layer but really it was this local multiplayer that all the family liked to gather around and play and in particular uh, my two boys enjoyed the strategic element of it and as a parent I really, I really appreciated it too because it was something that was really developing their thinking skills, their sort of tactical thinking, um, their, also their collaboration of how they would have to work together um, to beat the computer when they played in single player as well. And interestingly, playing Codename Steam seems to have affected their chess game. In the game, if you move and make a mistake or you, you haven't actually fired, you can then re retra retrace your steps back to where you were and it grants you back your steam and your action points. Now I think some people have thought that's almost a bit like cheating but for new players that is absolutely essential and in our chess playing they decided to also do the same thing so if, you, if they move a piece in their chess game um, and they un unexpectedly move into a place where they can be taken they can undo that move and they can move back. It gives them an opportunity to learn from their mistakes so I think Codename Steam including that sort of rewind feature is a really clever move for younger players and as you develop obviously you can turn that off on the higher difficulty levels um, that, that option of oh, no, retracing your steps once you've moved isn't there. Now in the single player there's lots to do as well each of the levels has hidden cogs which you can go back and find. Now the game has a sort of comic book aesthetic where Abraham Lincoln, um, Queen Victoria and a whole host of different literary characters many of whom my kids haven't got a clue who they were like Tom Sawyer and Tiger Lily um, they, they're teaming up to save the world from alien invaders so the, the, sort of the, the shooting in it is always cartoony there's not much blood, there's not a huge amount of violence so on that front as a parent I'm happy with it too so if you've not tried that local multiplayer then I suggest you get on Codename Steam and have a go at that, you can do it local or online and if your family hasn't tried Codename Steam I think this is a game to really consider you do need two copies of the game to play multiplayer but that investment, for us anyway, has really paid off um, both in the game and also as you can see in my kids' chess playing so there you go, that's all we've got time for on Family Gamer TV today subscribe to the channel and we can let you know we have more videos out um, and do comment, you know, what's your favourite tactics for Codename Steam did you play those old Advanced Wars games back in the day would you be playing um, the Fire Emblem games as well the one that's out already and obviously the one that's coming up for 3DS so there you go, that's all we've got time for, we'll be back with more soon Kill me! Yes I won! But how, how did he get- I jumped on you! Oh, I can't believe you beat me!